The match is finished now, and as you can tell, it was a 5 2 win for Wales. What do you think of the game? Absolutely fantastic performance. Craig Bellamy, Bellamy was outstanding. Should have had his hat trick. Should have had his hat trick. So, you think Craig Bellamy, man of the match, definitely? Craig Bellamy, man of the match, definitely. He tore their uh, defence apart. Uh, he, they just couldn't handle him. Yeah, it's a big fill up for the fans after losing on Saturday. I mean, the 700 fans come out doing this, a great fill up for the fans, and we just need to go forward from you now. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, obviously, uh, Tosh is trying to bring in the, uh, the young lads and that, you know, to give them a chance. Uh, uh, bring on Germany, I say. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much. We are after the match here in Slovakia. An excellent win for Wales 5 2. And we're with, joined by Carl, who is Welsh but actually lives in Slovakia. Right. Carl, can I ask you for your views on the game? I thought Bellamy was brilliant. I, 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 never, I never really rated Bellamy till tonight, but I thought he was really, really brilliant tonight. So I think it's fair to say Bellamy's your man of match in, Carl? I think he was, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any more plus points on the game, the performance we should take away from tonight? I, I thought we were great in the first half, a little bit average in the second half yeah, yeah. but uh, so what's tonight got in store for you uh, night on the town with the locals Big apple. no <laughs> i'll take that as a yes then cal yeah i'll take that as a yes thank you very much <laughs> we'll ask you later about the lap dancing bars <laughs> thank you anyway cal it's a pleasure yeah nice to meet you thank you
no, 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 no. That's better. Right, here we are. We're joined by uh, Shiny, who uh, we have to tell you was the prize winner of our raffle run by the FSF Cymru. Uh, it was in aid of raiding funds for the local orphanage here. And I think Shiny has chosen a trip to San Marino, I think, for the next Wales game? Yes, possibly, yeah. We might go to San Marino, yeah. Either that or Cyprus. Either that or Cyprus. Or, Fra or, or even, even Frankfurt. No, we've already booked. You've already booked for Frankfurt. Johnny, would you like to sum up the game? What was your feelings on it last night? How do you think we played? Marvellous. Uh, you know, we took my part. Bellamy in front couldn't keep up with his pace. And that was a big difference from last week. Um, yeah, the defence looked a bit dodgy, but we came through. We were 1-0 down, and I thought we would never get back. 1-0, 2-1. 3-1, I thought, we're on a road. And it was really, really good. Really exciting for the Welsh fans that came over. Marvellous game. Well, obviously, we had a good trip, and I dare say there's a few stories to tell. We're back at the airport now, but, Shiny, is there anything you'd like to reveal? Because everybody seems to have been having their own little pop at each other here, reveal a few secrets. Anything you'd like to enlighten us on? <laughs> no, not really. It, it, it's, it's just that the, the crack is good, the fans are good, the laugh is good. And once again, it was a marvellous trip. First class hotel, buses to the ground, buses back from the ground. Come wish for better more. Marvellous trip. I think he summed it up there. Excellent organisation by the boys. If any you'd like to join us on the next trip, please come on board. Once you get bitten by the bug, you'll, you'll be there forever and a day. Thank you, Shiny. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Here, Paul, we've got another major scoop. We're joined by Tony Reese, who's out here been reporting on the game for the Tits newspaper. I think it's fair to say, Tony. Uh, how do you think of the game? Could you give us a little reflection, Tony? How you felt it went? Performances? What your general feeling is? Well, I thought we were superb coming forward and attack. I think there are uh, you know, deficiencies in the back five, if you want to call out. We played the back five last night. I, I think that uh, the three centre backs struggle. I have to say, I think J uh, James Collins has struggled because he's not playing regular football at West Ham. S similarly for Danny Gabadon, and um, you know, obviously Craig Morgan. It was a massive sort of jump up from him because he's obviously in League Two with um, Peterborough United. So um, I think he struggled, to be honest with you. But, but we were excellent in the midfield. I thought that um, Cal Robinson had a great game. Uh, he protected the defence, you know, in a uh, defensive midfield position. I thought Craig Bellamy, that's probably the best of his 47 caps. And um, as, I, as Ian Rush said to me this morning, um, I think he's going to thrive with the captaincy. I think he likes to be the centre of the attraction, you know, and he sparks from it. And I, think he was, I thought he was superb uh, this week, you know, on and off the pitch. Just a quick one, we came back from the game last night, we watched the last half hour of the Scotland game and it was a team we actually beat 4-0 ourselves a couple of years ago. Uh, do you think perhaps it's a turning you know, for, for Wales and the upturning fortunes perhaps going forward? We've got a couple of winnable games now with Cyprus and San Marino. Do you think we can go on and up from your tongue? Um, I think we can beat Sa Sa San Marino and Cyprus. Uh, I mean, obviously, the long-term thing is, that, you know, what strength have we got coming through uh, the under-21 level, you know? I think we've got three, maybe four players from there, that, which I, I've seen a lot of the under-21s recently. I think they've got a real chance. But what it comes down to all the time is how much games are they going to have with the relevant clubs? That's what it comes down to all the time. You can have, as Craig Bellamy said this week, you can have a lot of quality, but what it comes down to are the lads having games. And that's what we've got to be very anxious about now. That our boys have games at their clubs. And I think if they do, I think we've got some good players coming through, without a doubt. Do you think, probably backing up what you say in this, fair reflection on both Collins and Gabidon, whilst last night was a tremendous result, I think it's fair to say they both looked off the pace a little bit and probably need regular first-team football, yeah? Yeah, I think they're going to struggle to get in the West Ham team. Unless there's um, a major sort of turnaround there. I mean, there may be injury suspensions. It's early in the season, of course. But there's some quality defenders at Upton Park.